The latest leaks about Apple's 2024 iMac have generated significant buzz in the tech world, giving us an early glimpse into what we can expect from the company's upcoming release. The first and arguably most important leak comes from insights about Apple's new chip, the M4, which is expected to be a central feature of the latest iMac. Based on reporting from 9 to 5 Mac, the 2024 model will see an upgrade from the previous M3 chip, which itself was only introduced last October. The new M4 processor will reportedly be built using TSMC's second-generation 3-nanometer process, making it significantly more powerful than its predecessor. This next-generation chip will feature a 10-core CPU, as opposed to the 8-core setup in the previous version. This represents an estimated 20 to 25% increase in overall performance, a notable improvement for users who require more speed for tasks such as video editing, gaming, or software development. The performance upgrade leak was based on a detailed analysis of the M4 die shot, which was shared by Fred on Twitter. This performance leap makes the upcoming model much more attractive for professionals and creatives who rely on raw processing power. One of the more practical upgrades hinted at for the upcoming iMac is the transition of its accessories to USB-C. While there are no official confirmations from Apple yet, this shift is expected due to European regulations that require all electronic devices to move away from proprietary charging ports like Apple's Lightning Connector, as a result, the new Magic Mouse, Magic Keyboard, and Magic Trackpad that come bundled with the iMac are highly likely to feature USB-C connectivity. Another major leak, based on information found in developer logs and reported by McCroomers, reveals that all M4-based Macs will start with at least 16 gigabytes of unified memory. This is a significant leap from the previous models, which started with 8 gigabytes of RAM and maxed out at 24 gigabytes. The new models are expected to offer 16 gigabytes of RAM as the base configuration, with users having the option to upgrade to 32 gigabytes for more intensive tasks. The port configuration on Apple's desktop has been somewhat limited in the past, but leaks suggest this is about to change. Historically, the 24-inch model has been available in two versions a base model with two Thunderbolt ports and a higher-end model with an additional two USB-C ports. However, according to 9to5Mac, a deep dive into the M4 chip's architecture, done by Fred on Twitter, revealed that the new M4 is equipped with four Thunderbolt controllers, compared to just two in the M3. This means that the new iMac could ship with four Thunderbolt ports, even in its higher-end models. As Apple continues to enhance its connectivity features, it is expected that the iMac will come equipped with Wi-Fi 7, the next evolution in wireless networking. The new Wi-Fi standard offers substantial improvements over its predecessor, Wi-Fi 6E. With maximum speeds of up to 46 gigabits per second, five times faster than Wi-Fi 6E, Wi-Fi 7 will provide much faster internet speeds and improved overall performance. The iMac will also benefit from Wi-Fi 7's ability to operate on 320 MHz channels and support the 6 GHz band, helping reduce interference and ensuring more stable connections even in crowded network environments. Despite these impressive improvements, there is one area where Apple enthusiasts might feel disappointed. According to the latest reports, Apple is not planning to reintroduce a larger version or an iMac Pro. The 24-inch model will remain the standard offering for now, which might frustrate users who prefer a larger screen for their workflows. As Burkhardt suggests, those looking for a bigger display will need to consider pairing a Mac Mini or Mac Studio with the Studio Display for a similar experience. As for when you can get your hands on this new device, according to Macworld, Apple is expected to unveil the iMac during an October keynote later this month. While the exact pricing has not been leaked, it's anticipated that the base model will be similarly priced to its predecessor, likely starting at around $1,300.
For users seeking higher configurations, including more RAM or storage, prices will likely go up accordingly. Are you excited to see more Thunderbolt ports and increased memory? Or are you holding out for a larger model that Apple might release in the future? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and stay tuned for the official announcement.